Hey everybody, so this is going to be July's Ipsy My Glam Bag unboxing for 2015 and this is the Canada version which I've noticed um, can be somewhat different from the US version. Sometimes it's the same and sometimes it's not so I thought that was interesting but this month it came in this cute bag here. As you can see I already opened it because I couldn't wait. It's like canvas. It's it's cute, but definitely not my favorite. I'll leave the link at below, as always, for Ipsy down below. It's $10 a month. And this month, this is what I got. The first product is the Cool Wave Beach Salt Spray. I always get, I don't know why, but I always get excited about beachy salt sprays for your hair. I always have this like vision of myself with this beautiful beachy wavy hair and this is going to be like the magical answer. I tried this yesterday and I've tried so many and it does nothing to my hair but make it gross. Like rough and dry and sticky and frizzy looking. It just does nothing. I, I don't know if it's the kind of hair I have but that's already a dud. So I can give you a little mini review on that I guess. The next product I have not tried. It is from Jelly Pong Pong. It's a two-in-one eyeliner in shadow. It comes in a stick like this. And I wonder if I have a color on here. It's cruelty free. I don't know. I'm not seeing a color. Anyways, it's a pretty, um, like a copper brown color. We've gotten stuff from Jelly Pong Pong before. A few lip products, never an eyeshadow, but that's what it looks like. It looks quite promising. I don't know if I'd wear it by itself, maybe as an eyeliner though, or as a base if I'm doing a really dark eye look. So that's the second product. The next product is the first thing I saw. I should have started with this. This is what I got really excited about. This is from Tarte and it's the Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. And for a little sample size, that's really nice packaging. It looks like the bigger packaging, just on a smaller scale. But it takes forever to go through bronzer, so that's what it looks like there and it's not a matte brown bronzer. It's um, it's like a lighter bronzer with gold in it. Uh, I'm pretty tan right now, so I don't know if it's really showing up. It's right in that region there. Try and get it to catch the light. So see there's a bit of gold in it. So it's really just to kind of warm up your face, great for the summer to look sun-kissed, as they say. So I was excited for that because it's really cute. I don't think I have that bronzer. The next one is from Be A Bombshell, something we get something from quite frequently. It's French Kiss and it's a lip balm. And as it looks like, the packaging is actually quite cheap. I'm not holding back here guys. It's like really cheap, like dollar store packaging in my opinion. Um, the lip gloss looks super cute, it's baby pink color, but I tried it on and I swatched it. You don't. It's like the subtlest hint of pink. It's right there. You can see the subtle hint of pink, but it doesn't show up on your lips at all. So, I mean, I'll try it out to see if I like it as far as moisturization, but it's a whatever. And then the last product is from Eau Thermal Aven. It's a Clenance gel. So it's for oily, blemish-prone skin, and it's hypoallergenic. So I was trying to read on the back, like, what's the difference with this? This is a gel, but it doesn't really, there's a lot of other languages on the back here. It doesn't really tell you how it's any different. I haven't tried it yet. I actually have a stockpile now of like sample beauty cleansers, face cleansers that I need to try. So to be honest, I wasn't really thrilled about this either. So as you can tell, this is definitely not my favorite month's bag, which is disappointing because July I thought would be amazing with like bright corals and bronzers and summery mists. And yes, this is definitely a favorite. And for $10, well, I mean, I like this and I like the eyeshadow. So I think it, it adds up to the $10 at least. So I've got my money's worth, but the other three products, the like sheer lip balm and the sea salt spray and the face cleanser, I'm like, not a huge fan of. So, hoping August month is better. Let me know if you guys got anything different in your bag down in a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!